Hello everyone, my name is Reza. I'm a Persian teacher and writer. I make YouTube videos to help Persian learners improve their language skills. This series of 7 videos is for completely beginners Persian learners, for those who have always wanted to learn this beautiful language but they've never had a chance to get it started. So if you've learned the Persian alphabet and you know how to read and write in Persian, so please check my other videos that are for uh, more advanced Persian learners. In this series of videos, I review my recent book. You can see its front cover, Read and Write Persian Language in 7 Days. This is a workbook and a step-by-step -step guide. If you watch these 7 videos, you will learn how to write and read in Persian language in a very fast and fun way. You can quickly begin to read, pronounce, and write in Persian. In addition, you will learn basic grammar, sentence structures, and pronunciation. I'm sure you'll be surprised how fast you master the first steps in learning Persian, this lovely language. If you are interested in buying the book or you want to show your support, please have a look at the Books Amazon page and consider buying the book, which is available on uh, Amazon.com and many other online bookstores. You can find the link below this video. Okay, you ready? Let's get started. All right, so let's take a look at the book. Uh, in the first day, I will review the most common Persian letters. And we will start from the first letter. But before that, let me explain about Persian language. I've received many questions about uh, Persian. Well, Persian language is spoken in, mainly spoken in three countries. In Iran, it's called Farsi. So when you hear that someone says, I speak in Farsi, it just means Persian, it's the same. And in Afghanistan, it's called Dari. And in Tajikistan, it's called Tajik. So these three are the same language, Persian language, with different accents. Uh, if you learn one of them, if you learn, for example, Farsi, you can speak with people from Afghanistan and Tajikistan. And if you learn Dari, Tajik, it's just the same. Okay, about Persian, about reading and writing Persian. Persian language has 32 letters. And it's, it's written from right to left. From right to left. But we write numbers from left to right. Well, to, to write a Persian word, we use letters and we connect them. So join the letters to make Persian words. You will see some of them in just uh, when I review the most common uh, words. So let's get started from the first letter. The first letter is, it's called Aleph. Aleph. Aleph uh, is the name of the letter, but it sounds, it has four different sounds and it has two forms. So two forms, the first form you can see here, it is just like uh, this one is just a line, a vertical line, and a hat. We call this one final Aleph. Uh, we, we call this one uh, the first Aleph. And we also have this one, the final Aleph. It doesn't have the hat. Okay. Um, Aleph or A, um, so like this one, the first one, we use it, this one, we use it as the first letter. So mostly we use this one as the first letter in a word. So if it is in the middle or at the end of a word, we use the second one, this one, just a line. So you, here you see, um, you see how we write the letter. So let me just try to write it for you. Uh, okay, so I just use this form to write the letter. Okay, so let's say I want to uh, write uh, the letter so here I just use that one. Let's see. I can write, we start from a line, draw down, and then we write the hat. So you see that? First, a line, vertical line, and the hat on it. So this is a left. This one is just a vertical line. That's it. Vertical line, but pay attention to this horizontal line. It is just on the line. So we write it on the line. Okay, this letter has four sounds. The first one is ah, 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 just like um, 
O in English. Uh, it also has the sound of A, sometimes the sound of E, and the last one, O. So four sounds. O, A, E, O. Okay, let's take a look at here. If you have the book, if you have the book, you can... Um, you can uh, uh, just uh, uh, pr practice your writing, you can improve your writing, just use this page to improve your writing, just uh, uh, write on the letters to practice. Let's go to the next page, um, next page, we have the next letter. This letter is B. B. B also has two forms, this one is the short form, this one. The short form and this one is the full form of the letter usually we use the full form of the letter at the end of the ver on the of the word so when you write a word you have few letters for the first letter and the letters in the middle we use the short form of the letter and at the end of the word we use the full form of the letter so the sound is just B, like B in English. And you see how we write that one. I tried to write it for you to see how I write. This is this way. You have the line, the horizontal line like this. And on the line, you start from that point and then just continue. And we have a dot below that. So that's B. You see that? How we write it this way. For the short form, so let me just write it here, you can see on the line and then one dot below. So this is the way that we write B. Okay, let's go to the next page. Next page, we have three sample words. So let's take a look at these sample words. Let me just make it bigger if it is possible. Let's see. All right. So I try to make this one bigger and then you can re read the right, try, try to read the words. The first one is Aleph. See the first letter is Aleph. The second one is B. So the pronunciation, as I said, the one that has the hat is A. So this one is Ab, Ab, Ab. Okay. The next one is ba ba. So you see that alef joins with the preceding for previous letters, but it doesn't join to next letter. So some letters in Farsi they join to previous, some join to the next letters, and some join to every letter. But some of them never joins to other letters. You will you will see them later. So this one is ba 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 means father dad ba ba the next one is ba so i'll show you how we write these words so let's take a look at it we write it this way so for example i want to write a ah, so we just start from that one and then that's it so it is ab alef or a ah, and then b, it's ab. The next one is ba ba. Ba ba means dad. Ba ba. So the way that we write it is just this. Ba ba. Ba ba. Not a very good writing with this mouth. So, but I'm sure that you can write better. Just similar to this one. Ba ba. The next one is ba. Ba simply means by or with. Ba. So it doesn't have the other ball. Ball means boy. All right. If you have the book, you can practice more. You can just uh, uh, um, just take a look at this page and write on the letters to improve your writing. Writing. Okay. So here you see how to write the words, and you can practice more. And the next page, next letter is Nun, Ne. It sounds Ne, but the name of the letter is Nun. Nun or Ne. Ne 
uh, this one is the 29th letter of the Persian alphabet but as I said we reviewed the most common Persian letters first it has two forms you see that this one is the full form and that one is the short form this one short form this one the full form of the letter and you see how we write that one I try to write uh, for you this one I can write let's see just like this ne so just like half a circle and ne here just pay attention to the horizontal line ne for the other one just on the line ne so this one is ne all right so let's go to the next page next page we have three sample words the first one is non 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 means bread non ne oh ne non non bread the next one is bano 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 means billing bano means billing and the last one here is on 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 means that or this okay let's just practice how to write and how to practice these you can just write on the letters here to improve your writing so try to write like this but pay attention to the line the horizontal line just like that you can if you have the book you can just use this page and practice more or you can just use a page and just draw some horizontal line and write on it just like that this is non, non means bread, and this is one is bano, bano means building, bano. Oh, let me just write it one more time. Bano. All right, so let's go to the next, uh, uh, let's go to the next uh, letter that we have here. Uh, next letter is dal, dal. The name is doll, but it sounds de like D in English. Like dog, D in dog, de, de. You see that this one has only one form. Doll has only one form. And you see the way that we write it in Persian, it has only one form. And if you want to practice writing, let me just write some for you. This is the way that we write. So you just like that or this or that so it is de and we pronounce as de okay so let's go to the next page we have some sample words you can stop this video at any time and try to read the words yourself or you can just listen to the way that i read the words okay the first one is bod so we have be odd bod bod means wind bod the next one is ba dan be a ba dan ba dan ba dan means body ba dan these two small lines are short vowels that we practice later on in the next video uh, i think in, in this video we will practice these short video uh, these short vowels at the end of this video badan means body bad bad means just bad in english dod you can see the english meaning of the verb of the word dod and the next one is da dan da dan means to give da dan okay let me just try to write some of these uh, uh, words for you to see how we write it in Persian so I start from this one so I try to write them well writing with the mouse is not that easy but I'm sure that you can write a better one bod bod oh okay that connects so it's just like ba and then the bod this one is bad this one is badan ba and then ba dan this one is dot so dot 
and this one is da dan da dan all right so this is the way that we write these letters if you have the book you can uh, practice more using this page so let's see here you have enough space to practice improve your writing the next letter is re 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 is the name and it pronounced like r in english re re you see it just it has only one form re it joins to the letters before that but it doesn't join to the letters after this so it is just re it's just like de de is the same de joins to the letters before that but not after that okay so you see how we write the letter let me just try to write it for you okay so if you have just like that re 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 very easy way to write it just right re. all right so let's go to the next page next page we have some sample words for re re so i just review some of them for you the first one is dar 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 means door or it also means inside next one is bar bar you can see the english meaning of bar next one is run dan run dan so you start from re you know that after re any letter that you have it doesn't join to re so it is ra ne de so for de de joins to the letter before that so that's why you connect ne and de and then at the end you have ne so it is run dan next one here is ne a na do rad nadorad 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 means she or he doesn't have nadorad and this one is a nor a nor you can see the english meaning a nor the next one is boron next one is ard and last one is dorad she or he has dorad so i uh, just write these for you let me just uh, write some of them very fast to see how we write it in uh, in Persian. So for that, we write it this way: bar, just bar like that. Run down. We start from here: ra, ne, de, and de. Run down. Let me just write it one more time. Just remember that de doesn't join to the next letter. So run, then, and then ne. Randan. Randan means to derive. Randan. Next one is Nadorad. Ne de arad. Nadorad. Nadorad. And next one is Anor. 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 Boron. Boron. Okay, next one is Ard. So Ard, like that one. And Dorad, the last one. Dorad okay so let's just go to the next uh, um to the next letter let me just clear everything and okay here we have a sample sentence says two sentences i review these first you can stop this video and try to read yourself and then um, uh, just listen to the way that i read these two sentences so if you're ready Okay, it is ba 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 means father ba ba anar dorad ba ba anar anar dorad ba ba anar nadorad ba ba anar dorad ba ba anar nadorad. You can see the translation here. Okay. Let's go here you can practice your writing you can improve your writing just this way if you have the book so just write this way write on the letters so to improve your writing okay not very good one but can practice 
okay and for the other letters you can do the same thing so let's just go to the next letter next letter is mim mim the name is mim mim is very common in persian mim and it's just l like m in english it sounds me me in english me in english so mim is the name it has two forms you can see this one is the full form this one is the short form for this short form we can use it as a beginning or in the middle of the words but this one comes only at the end of words and you see how we write mail i will just try to write it for you so this is the way that we write for the final or full mail like that one or some people like it this way write it this way or some people write it this way so there's meh or this way meh this one is meh short form so some people write it this way and so you see that this way let me just write it again this so meh this is just a circle and then meh or you can write it this way meh just this way all right so let's just go to the next part we have some sample words you can stop this video now and uh, try to read these words and later just listen to the way that i read these words okay so now i just read these words that i have the first one is uh, nom 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 means name nom next one is Doram, Doram is I have. O madam, O madam, O madam I came. O mad, he or she came. O mad, he or she came. Badam, Badam, Badam means almonds. Badam, Madar, Madar, mother. Mar, snake. Man. Man means I, mad. Mad means man. Ma mad. Okay, I try to r r write these words for you. Let's see. The first one we have nom. So this is the way that we write nom. This one is do ram. So this is the way that we write do ram. That one is o madam. This one is o mad okay this one is badam ba then dam okay next one is ma dar and mar also this one is man man is i and this one is mad mad okay i hope the way that i write these names helps you to improve your writing all right let me just clear everything and go to the next page no, here we have some sample sentences. So you can stop the video now and try to read these sentences and then just listen to the way that I read these sentences. All right, so I read these sentences now. Man, badam, daram. Daram is I have. Man, badam, daram. On mard, mard is man. On mard, badam. Nadorad Man dar boron omadam. Man dar dar means inside or at or under boron omadam. Man dar boron omadam. Okay, here you can practice, improve your writing, write on the letters or words. The next letter is seen. Seen. Sin uh, is a very common letter in Persian and it has two forms and it sounds just like se, like S in English, se. Sin is the name, it has two forms. This is a full form and that one is a short form. Full form comes at the end of the word and short form comes in the beginning or in the middle of words. So you can see how we write se or sin. I try to write it for you, 
the full form we write it this way that is seen or for short we write it this way all right so let me just go to the next letter next page we have some sample words for this the first one you can stop the video at any time and practice the words yourself and then you can listen to the way that i read the words sar sar you see that sar is the first letter and re is the second one sar sar means head sar dard sar dard means headache sar dard sam sam means poison sam poison sam dos de os dos next one is sa bad these are short vowels we practice later this one is asp asp remember that alef has four sounds this one is a ah. this one is a ah. asp asp means horse if you have some sample sentences uh, you can stop the video now and practice yourself and then listen to the way that i read the sentences okay the first one ba ba asp dorad Bobo asp dorad Bobo father asp horse dorad has he has a horse on mard on means that mard bo asp omad on means that that man came with a horse Modar, modar, sabad, dorad. Sabad means basket. Modar, sabad, dorad. Man, sardard, doram. Man, sardard, doram. Okay, next page. Here you can practice, improve your writing. And okay, here we have Persian vowels. Persian vowels. We have three Persian vowels. Ah, the first one you see here. Well, in some textbooks, you don't see the short vowels. So short vowels are only for beginners, Persian, beginners of Persian learners. So when you start learning the language, the textbooks provide short vowels for you to help you understand the sound, the pronunciation of the words. But later on you won't see these short vowels so we don't use short vowels in it in a, uh, in writing okay the first one is ah ah just like ah you see that in that the english word that ah next one is a eh, so this is a small line below the letter so here it says ah is above above the letter this one is below the letter and the next one is o you see a small small circle and then you see that that is o o so we have three short vowels a e o because okay, some examples here you see i just uh, pronounce them this one is ba because it has a above ba this one is na because ne a a above it ma next one is be because a is here short vowel a ne and me so me ne be this one is bo no mo mo no bo so we use the short vowels above or below the letters okay so for example in this case we have mard mar so that's why we put a above me so it becomes mard the next one is sabad sa Bad, sabad, sabad. Okay, we also have long vowels, three long vowels. The first one is a that you learned before, alef. That a is one pronunciation of alef, a, a. Like here, you see that in the pronunciation of a in the word Persian, the English word car. Long vowel e, e. Long vowel e, like. E in fit, the English word, and long vowel U. U. Okay, the difference between long vowels and short vowels is that we use long vowels in Persian words. So we use them, we use the long vowels, but we don't write the short vowels. 
so you see the long vowels in words. All right, here, so let's just practice. The first one is B and A, so it is BA, BA, long vowel A, BA. Next one is BA, BA, BA. B, B is long vowel, so we write it B. This one is BE, BU, BU. And this one is BO, O, BO. NA, NA. NI, NE. NU, NO. All right. Okay, uh, for exercise, you can just uh, join this, these letters and try to write it. So just take a look at it. I just write one of them for you and then you can practice the others. So for this one, we have be, de, ne. So I know that be can come as the first letter and it joins to the next letter. So I write be. Then the next one is de. I know that de joins to the previous letter, but it doesn't join to the next letter. So we write it this way. And ne at the end, that's a full form. We need to use a full form because that is the last letter. So it becomes ba, dan. So as you know, we don't write the short vowels, but for practice, you can write it. Badan. Badan means body. Badan. You can practice the others yourself. Let's just move on to the next, uh, next exercise, exercise two. For this exercise, you can write the, it says uh, read the words and write in Persian. So I do the first one for you. You can practice yourself. Here it says ne. Ah, oh, ne. So it's non. I want to write non. So I start from letter ne. I know that that is the first letter, so I need to write the short fo form. Then ah, oh, I know that ah oh joins to the previous letter. And the last one is ne. So since the last letter, we need to use the full form. So that's non. Non means bread. All right. Okay, next page is. And the next page is second day in the second day in the next video we will practice sentences we will practice some more letters and also we'll learn how to write sentences i hope you enjoyed uh, this video to short your uh, to show your support you can always uh, um, um, leave your comment you can like this video and you can also uh, consider buying the book okay thank you for your support have a good one